Hello, everyone. Today, I want to bring you an intro to Elira, which is AI-centric extensions to JupyterLab. My name is Evan, and today I have my colleague here, Edward and Sashusi. I'm a data scientist at IBM Code team. Hey, everybody. My name is Ed, and I'm also a data scientist on the Code team. Hello, everyone. I'm Sai Shruti. I'm a developer advocate and data scientist in Code team. And first of all, thank you so much for joining us today. And I hope you are having great time in the conference. So let's quickly go over today's agenda. Starting with our team's introduction, we will introduce you to two of our open source projects, Elira and Data Asset Exchange, and end with a demo showing how to use them together with reference link that you can take back from the talk. So Codite, Center for Open Source Data and AI Technologies. We are 30 plus developers and data scientists working on contributing to open source projects that covers entire data science lifecycle. As you can see on the screen on the right side of the slide, this is the projects that we are contributing. Our goal is to make AI systems easy to create, deploy, and maintain. Today, we are going to focus on two of our in-house open source projects. First is Elira and next is Data Asset Exchange, and they both are marked on the slide here. And now over to Ed, and he will introduce you all to Elira. Thanks, Shruti. So what exactly is Elira? Well, at its core, Elira is simply a set of Jupyter Lab extensions catered to people who like to work with artificial intelligence and machine learning using notebooks. Elira's goal is to help data scientists, machine learning engineers, and software developers through the most common model development lifecycle complexities. Elira was officially announced as an open source project by IBM this past April. If you'd like to access the GitHub repo or the docs, you can follow the links here we've shared on the screen. Elira boasts a host of features to achieve its goal, which we will discuss shortly. For now, notice from the preview of Elira's UI here on the right that Elira doesn't radically reinvent JupyterLab to provide you with all of its functionalities. It simply extends the distinct JupyterLab environment that we've all come to know and love over the past few years, added tabs, toolbars, and launchers. So what can it actually do for you? Well, you can really break down Elira's core features into five items. The first, Elira provides an easy to use notebook pipeline visual editor. Why build your next AI model using a pipeline editor? Well, it's because Elira provides a visual way to convert multiple notebooks covering pre-processing steps, experimentation, optimization, and deployment all into batch jobs or workflows. Second, Elira supports running notebooks as batch jobs directly in the UI, making model training easier. Third, Elira supports easy creation and insertion of reusable code snippets. Fourth, Elira pipelines support Git version control, allowing rollbacks to working versions of the code, backups, and most importantly, sharing amongst team members. Fifth and finally, Elira exposes Python scripts as first-class citizens. This allows users to locally edit their scripts and execute them against local or cloud-based resources seamlessly. Even we'll demonstrate all of these features for you shortly in our demo, but for now, I'll pass it back to Sashruti to talk about IBM's Data Asset Exchange. Thanks, Ed. So let's have a quick overview of Data Asset Exchange. We call it as DAX. So DAX offers high quality vetted data. By vetted, I mean we start by tracing origin and merit of the data set, learn about the usability rights and ownership. From here, we take all the information and we create a standard metadata and perform internal legal review before releasing the data sets to Data Asset Exchange. Data sets here have clearly defined open data license. We provide exclusive access to IBM research data sets that have played crucial role in building popular AI systems like AI Debater, Entity Recognition, and so on. So what do we offer? Do we offer only data sets? No, not really. We offer much more than just a raw data set. These data sets comes with tutorials that demonstrates the usage of data and can be directly exported as Watson Studio project or a Watson Studio compatible notebook. We also have data glossary. 
that that will be that you can use for learning more about the attributes of the data set we also have an option to preview the data that can help you understand your data before using them in your project so this is our uh, watson studio uh, project so you can directly use all the notebooks in your watson studio project uh, industrial use cases have been created using dax datasets and they are available as industrial accelerators which you can directly use with cloud pack for data we have resources listed in slides that you can refer to know more about it for now over to even for the demo thanks ashwishi so before i show you the demo i want to introduce you how the data science process look like so majorly a data science pipeline usually include five steps from data extraction to result interpretation as a data scientist i have to run multiple notebooks in one project especially if i change anything in one notebook then i have to run the other notebooks one by one elira saved the efforts by constructing them as a pipeline and run them all with one click so now let me walk you through the demo so this demo will show you by running four notebooks using elira i will introduce you two ways to run your pipeline both on local machine and on kubeflow pipelines to build a pipeline you can simply drag and drop the notebooks onto the canvas and connect them, just as easy as drawing a graph. You can arrange the notebooks in sequential or parallel order. You need to configure the notebook properties for several informations. We put the environment variable dataset URL as a dataset download link from DAX. We copy paste the link into the section. This notebook produced output files. I specify the file name as gfkweather.csv, which is downloaded through the first notebook into the directory. The output files are uploaded to cloud storage or saved in local directory after notebook processing complete. We also need to select a Docker image that will be used to run the notebook. You can bring your own image or choose from the predefined public images, such as a Panda image, a TensorFlow image, or a PyTorch image. We choose Pandas as a Docker image here because we mainly use pandas and numpy packages in the notebook. We could only select one Docker image each time. However, if you're running on your local machine, the image you choose does not matter. Also, you can declare the file dependencies as gfkweatherclean.csv, but the, this is not necessary, since the files are already in the same folder. I redefine the name of the pipeline by right-click my trackpad, change the name to even.pipeline. Also, you can add comments to provide short descriptions. This helps your colleague know the function of each node before going into it. Now, everything is all set. Let's save the pipeline as submitted to run locally. The running logs are shown in terminal. If everything completes successfully, a message will pop up. The run outputs will be shown in the notebook cells. See on the left side, the notebooks are just updated a few seconds ago. Now, let me quickly walk you through the content of each notebook. Firstly, the load data notebook downloads, extract the zip file through the dataset URL link, and save it as jfkweather.csv file. The part one notebook loads the dataset downloaded from the previous notebook, replace wrong values such as none, t, 0 0.02, 0 0.01 second, Filter out everything out of the range. Reverse the column into numerical type. Clears out the missing values. Rename the columns and then save the clean dataset as gfkweatherclean.csv file. The part two notebook selects five columns from the clean data and visualize the trend. It also explores the dependencies between those columns. Then it visualizes the trend of rolling average in 2017. The part three notebook does explore the approaches to predict future temperature by using time series data set. It creates the training, validation, and test splits. Train the data set and then compare the performances between different baseline models using mean squared error. And it built ARIMA model predictions for the first 48 hours of validation set. You can get this notebook on data asset exchange page by clicking on the preview notebooks you can see we have three notebooks very similar to what we have in the demo pipeline. 
The notebooks were designed to run on Watson Studio and IBM Cloud. I made minor changes to those notebooks and to fit this into the Jupyter environment. So now let's submit run this pipeline again on Kubeflow. Before running, you need to configure your runtime by putting credentials into each section. I already pre-configured my runtime, so we can just submit the pipeline on Kubeflow. In the run process, Elira will generate, gather, and package the required artifacts, upload them to cloud storage, and triggers the pipeline execution in a selected Kubeflow pipeline environment. Pipeline runs are listed in the experiments panel. The, gra the graph panel displays the execution status of each node. You can see the part one notebook is completed and has green check mark at the right top. After all run is complete, you can access the pipeline's output artifacts using the supported S3 client. Clicking on data folder, which includes the JFK, JFK data file and also the clean version, and also on this page, we have all of the inputs and output files listed. All tarballs are input files. By clicking one of the output files and download, you can see the result of the notebook is saved in the output cells. This is a demo I, I would like to show you today. And you're, if you're interested and want to try this by yourself, please feel free to install Elira and clone the Elira examples repo to get the notebooks. You can also get the notebooks on Data Asset Exchange and run from there. Elira is an open source project, so please feel free to open issues or enhancement requests on the Elira repo. There are also a few other talks related to Elira from IBM Code team. Please also feel free to check this out. And this is everything I want to show you today. And thanks for coming.